New variable speed vacuum pumps have opened opportunities to save energy by way of process optimization. And possibly the most significant of this is the concept of set point control. By allowing an engineer to define the operating pressure at a precise level and then modify that setting even after the vacuum system is installed, significant savings can be achieved. The relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas is inversely proportional. So for a fixed load, producing a deeper vacuum means the vacuum machine must handle a higher volume of gas. And the reverse is witnessed when a customer uses variable speed settings to change their vacuum level in their process closer to atmospheric. Now for every 10% increase in absolute or operating pressure, there is a 10% reduction in the actual flow rate for the pump to handle. And this allows an intelligent pump to reduce its rotational speed and benefit from associated power savings. The optimum vacuum level from an energy efficiency standpoint is the maximum authorized pressure. That is the closest pressure to atmosphere that can still drive the process. It's worth noting now the concept of safety factors as it applies to vacuum pump selection. The safety margin on the selection of a variable speed machine is essentially the difference between the normal operating speed and the maximum speed available to that pump. So under normal conditions, the safety factor is not used. Compare that now to a fixed speed vacuum pump. Oversizing the equipment by 10% safety factor will mean that it runs at 10% lower pressure or better vacuum than designed. There's no way of regulating the capacity performance, so it will handle more flow and draw more power than was needed by the process for the lifetime of that pump.